On this episode of Mario Paint Class, we're going to learn how to get a beautiful clear coat finish with this high level of gloss. We're going to learn everything that leads up to this point. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers. I really do appreciate you. Now in today's video, we're going to focus on how to get a beautiful glossy clear coat finish. But let's just take a look at all the steps that I took beforehand. Alright guys, so there was some chips here. It already got fixed and primed. So now I'm just sanding down the primer. I'm sanding down the primer with 400 grit sandpaper. Once I cut out the primer with the 400 sandpaper, I go ahead and I start using some 600 grit sandpaper and I just refine all the scratches from the 400. Once I'm done with the 600, I start refining the 600 with 800. Now, the reason for all this refinement, guys, is because your paint and your clear is gonna adapt to its surface. So however you prep that surface, that's exactly how your finish is gonna come out. So if you didn't prep the area properly, your clear coat finish cannot look good because it didn't have a nice smooth surface to begin with. So prepping is absolutely important. 95% of the job is just working on the car fixing the problem and then you know prepping everything five percent is just paint so you always have to get your prep work down packed from the jump or else you can expect uh apple tree from orange seed you know all right so once i was done with the prepping i cleaned up the car brought it in the booth and began the masking process once that's done, I go ahead and I use some solvent-based cleaners like wax and grease remover, spray it down, and then I just wipe it off with a towel. After the wax and grease remover, I go ahead and I use some water-based cleaner, and I wipe it down again with a towel. Guys, just like prepping, cleaning is absolutely vital to getting a nice clean finish. So, once you get that car in the boot, it should be already clean and then once you finish with your masking you go ahead and clean again So this is one of my favorite trick when it comes to black. I use a 2000 grit sandpaper just to scuff up the area that I applied the base coat and this make the job comes out a lot cleaner. So sometimes I'll do it right before the last coat of paint or I'll just do it right before clear. Um, this usually give me a clean finish so I just keep doing this every time with black. Alright, so time to get that clear going. So I'm using the Montana Big Sky. It's a 2 to 1 mix ratio. Um, you can always go ahead and use 5 to 10% more hardener. If you feel like it, that wouldn't hurt the thing.
and on to the final step so now I'm laying down my clear coat on my first coat of clear coat I'm not concerned about making this extra wet because you know that can prevent me from getting a run on my first coat of clear once you get a run on your first coat of clear it's almost impossible to get that run out so it's, if you're gonna run something it's better to run it on the second coat not that any run is a good run so you just go ahead and you make your nice long passes you keep going don't stop you keep it moving Now take a look that's what my first coat of clear coat looked like so you can see there's some dry spots and also a lot of gloss in different areas so on the second coat we're gonna go ahead and focus on getting everything completely wet so you do it the same as the first coat just make sure you look you know you gotta turn your head in different angles to make sure that you can see everything because looking at it directly you wouldn't be able to see everything that you're doing especially on a white or black you know so you see there I have some dry spots so just go ahead and lay some more clear on there be careful not to pile it on too much because you will get a run and just like this guys you too can get a beautiful clear coat finish if you follow these steps um, you should not have any problems until next time, Dr. Painter out.